Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Chelsea. Today I'm going to be showing you my Dollar Tree haul. It is mostly things for our homeschool. Um, I think I grabbed a couple of things for the house and a couple of things just for my kids, just for fun. They each had $2 to spend. Not all of their personal $2 to spend items are in here. Some of them are. I'll explain as I go. But um, yeah, so I'm going to turn around and show you all the good things I found for us this week. Okay, so we're going to start right here. We are doing an ocean themed unit study. And so that was my main point for this trip, as you can kind of tell. Um, they had these really cool I draw sea life. They had other kinds too. Um, in my vlog I'm doing today, I kind of do a shop with me there. So you can see what other things they had. But they had other types of animals. And this just looked really neat for my guys. I thought that they would have so much fun with this. So they only had four of these. I do have five kids, but my youngest is three. So I thought we'll give the four, you know, oldest that. And then my youngest, this is not just ocean animals, but it has some in there and it just has stickers um, and all kinds of stuff. And she has lots of workbooks here just for fun. But I thought if they're getting a new book, she needs a new book for when we pull these out. So I got all of those. And then they had these over on like the teaching section, sharks and sea life. And at first I was like, what are these things? Let's see if I can open it up with one hand and show you guys. It says writing skills, creative thought and self-expression abilities. So let's see if I can do this. Has a picture on one side. This is from the sharks packet. And it tells you some things about the shark. And then it will ask you to write something. And I just thought, we do this a lot ourselves. We'll read books and then I'll say, hey, write about this or that. Um, but it just has some different questions that maybe we might not think to ask ourselves. Let me show you one from the sea life here. I feel like you can see them better out of the package. All right. Oh, look at that. So this one. See, so it's just... Just cool. Gives them good writing prompts and a really cool picture at the same time. So I thought we can work on, you know, one or two of those a day and add that into our unit study. And that'll be fun, fun. Now, just for fun, like maybe as we are, well, when they're listening to me read or just all together or watching a documentary or listening to ocean sounds, um, I just found, now obviously this is just cute and fun, but I do have a three and five year old girl who will, girls, who will love that. And then we have this Nemo one and this dolphin, well it's not actually Nemo, but you know what I mean. Dolphin one, and that was all the ocean ones they have. So they're a little easy, some of them for my big guys, but they'll still be really fun to do. And then for a couple of little craft sensory things, I really wanted sand and all they had was black sand. So I went ahead and picked it up, but that'll give us a chance to talk about why some sand is black, right? So what we're going to do with that is I have sand and I got two packs of these seashells here. And as you can see, I got two tubs. You can have a water. So one of these tubs, we're going to fill it with sand and these seashells and they can just dig around and with little shovels that we have or with the little seashells. So really for my little, little ones in mind. Okay, go ahead, baby. But my big, I think my big kids will enjoy just kind of playing with that as well. Then I got these gel beads, you know, little fun squishy gel beads. I got two of those and then I really wanted some teeny tiny sea animals. They had dinosaurs, they had barn animals, they had regular animals, just all kinds of things. They didn't have sea animals, y'all. So I uh, didn't want to spend a ton of money, but I picked up three, I got a whale and a dolphin and a killer well. So got those three and then because I didn't have much I got these grow things. Um, we're not going to stick them in water and have them grow. I'm just going to stick them with the water beads in the other tub and so that'll be for them just to play with and keep the unit study really fun. Again it's aimed a little bit more towards my younger kids but that's something fun to keep them busy because a lot of things we do in our school day is aimed towards the bigger kids. So I like to try to do some fun things for the littles. These two items were just my three-year-old's picks, which she got to spend her $2 on. I think she's the only one who left. No, my oldest did too. But anyway, that's what she picked, little froggies, soccer ball. 
the tape we just needed for at home. I saw it on the checkout. Do you want that, sweetie? Saw it on the checkout aisle. Do you want your froggies? Yeah. There you go. And then this, I just got one of these, the giant coloring books. We have markers and crayons and all that at home, so I just picked this up. Oh, it has stickers. I didn't even notice that. Just for fun, and they can all share, pick a page, color while we're working. Oh, look at that. So, fun little things for them to do all together. Oh, I picked up this. I almost forgot about it back there. For the house, they had so many cute um, Easter things, but I like this, welcome to our patch. It was just cute for a dollar. You can't beat that. My oldest girl with her $2 actually picked this. She is going to her best friend's house today for a sleepover. So um, she thought that her and her sister is also going with her and, um, and their friend would enjoy those little treats. That's what she picked. Their suckers, all their Valentine's candy, by the way, is on sale. It's 50 cents. This should be up in time for y'all to still go and get that. Um, so I just picked these up just because they were there. And the lady was like, hey, they're 50 cents. Okay. Then also for my big girls and friend at sleepover, they're going to take a pack of these glow sticks. And then because my little ones might be home and feel left out, I got them a pack of glow sticks. For my puppy, I just got her this little pig ear. I try to pick her up a treat. When we go out, she has anxiety when we leave, and I have found it really helps if she knows she is getting something. Are you going to give that to Luna? Okay. And then I got these two big tubs for our sensory type activities. I didn't have any. I, all the tubs I have like this, I use for food storage. So I really wanted some that didn't have ever any meat or anything like that in it just for them. And then, of course, we can... I'll open it. Yes. Hold on. Just one second, Mommy. I'll open it. Um, I didn't want to use, you know, put their sensory things in here with meat and then we can reuse those, switch out the activity that we do. But anyway, this is my, <coughs> excuse me, Dollar Tree haul. I spent $44 and this is a lot of this is for our homeschool day. So it came out of my homeschool budget. So we did great with that. I haven't had to spend money on homeschool stuff in a while other than books. So it's worked out well. And like I said, I have three other kids whose $2 um, spending items are not in here. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. I post videos a few times a week. I would love to have you as a part of our tribe on this channel. We will see you next time. Aria, can you say bye? Bye. Say see you later, guys. See you later, guys. Bye.